the jab is, look, it's closer to my opponent, so it's got less distance to travel compared to the cross. But now we're talking about the cross to the body. So it's traveling from here to here. So we've got a little bit more distance to travel. The cross to the body is a fantastic shot, but it's pretty difficult to throw, whether you're just doing it on the bag or in sparring it in fights. But after watching this video, I'm gonna give you some great things to work on the next time you're in the gym, so you can perfect this great punch to the body. I'm gonna tell you why you should be throwing it as well. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some setup shots using the cross to the body. Pretty advanced, but once you know this stuff, you're going to really love it. So make sure you stick around till the end to watch that. And if you're new here, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing education. So if you want to get better at boxing, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for more videos like this. Okay, let's get straight into it. So the cross to the body. This is a hard punch. <laughs> just to throw on its own. As I've mentioned on my previous videos, the easiest and best punch to throw to land is the jab. The jab is, look, it's closer to my opponent, so it's got less distance to travel compared to the cross. But now we're talking about the cross to the body, which is got even more distance to travel, because it's not just traveling from A to B, now it's traveling from A to B is in body, <laughs> A to body. So it's traveling from here, to here. So we've got a little bit more distance to travel. So it is a harder punch to execute if you lead off with it. Because what you've got to do as well, when you're throwing this correctly, you've got to drop your levels. It's hard to throw across to the body like this. I've really got to drop my knees and turn my hips and throw it like that. So when you're throwing this cross to the body, you're doing five things at the same time. See if you can see what five things are. <laughs> what is the five things that I'm doing? Again, so, here they are. I am bending my knees to lower the levels. I am turning my hips to transfer the weight into the punch. I'm actually throwing the punch. I am exhaling, staying relaxed so I'm not getting too tight. And the last thing I'm doing is I'm protecting my face with the non-punching hand. Then five things there. Here it is again. <laughs> So doing them five things is helping you get the power into the punch. Here, straight on. And what I'm doing here, I'm keeping my head on the center line. We can take it off, and I'll show you that method in a second, but we're keeping our head on the center line. So it's like a cross to the head, but we cross into the body. So that was the basic way. Now I'm gonna show you a more advanced way of throwing the cross to the body, taking my head off the center line. So let's just see if we're countering a cross, if someone's throwing a cross at me, but when I do it this way, I want to step my lead foot out and take my head off the center line. So I just say here, I've got a line in between my feet. This is the line where punch is coming straight at me. I'm going to take my head off that line with the step and then throw that punch. Now, practicing that advanced way on the heavy bag, the key is here is make sure your front foot lands the same time as your punch. And because you're stepping, you're getting more weight behind the punch and that's going to increase the power. Yeah. You see uh, the bag swinging there, how much power I got into that punch. So like I said at the beginning, it's hard to land this on its own. You've got to set it up. So when you're setting up, you can set up with punches to the head. Bah, bah, bah. I might be throwing a one, two. Bah, bah, bah. Bah, bah. Then throw it. If I'm throwing punches to the head, he's not going to expect that cross to the body. If you're throwing one, two to the head, he's going to expect one, two to the head. Switch it up. Throw that one, two to the head. One, two to the head. Then bah, bah then blast that one into the body, that sneaky one into the body. The best body punches that land and the ones that hurt people are the body punches that they don't expect. And I've done a full video on body punching. You should definitely watch that one after this one. Other things you can be doing to practice this in sparring or just on the heavy bag. You can get up close. You can work inside. The sharp punch is there. Take a step back. Wow. <laughs> and then throw that body shot. When you take a step back, an opponent will expect you to be moving back, moving back. But if you just take that step back, one, one. Put the weight on the back foot so you can explode and blast that cross in. Great shot. Again, I'm here. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, bah. Getting a lot of power in that. So yeah, landing this punch, it's all about the setup. Again, it's so hard to be here, here, bah. and then just throwing that because you will feel open. But if I'm here, I'm here, I'm playing with this left hand, playing with the right hand, bah, bah, bah. here, bah, bah. 
Yes, great one. So now I'm going to show you how to use this as a setup so you can throw all the punches and have success landing them. But real quick, I want to give you something for free before we do that. This is Shroom Tech from Honored. It's a supplement that I take before training. This stuff really helps boost your exercise volume. It assists with your aerobic training performance. And it's certified drug-free. Get seven days free. Click the link below. Check it out. And I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Okay, so how can we use this cross to the body? to set up all the punches. Well, if you think about it, if I'm throwing this cross to the body, what's that person's reaction? Boom, hands are coming down, leaves them open for head punches. But, you know, we've got to really commit with that punch to the body. If I'm here and I'm just like here, they're not going to believe that and it's leaving us open. You've got to really commit to that punch to the body. When I say commit, I mean go for it with power. So they've got to block it. If I'm doing this, I'm taking them all day, right? So I've got, to, I've got to go for it. So a great setup punch is blasting them with the left hook. So I'll throw a jab, throw a jab, cross to the body with power, wham! Blasting that left hook to the head. And this is a perfect combination if you're putting someone on the back foot against the ropes. So think about it, I've got my opponent. I'm kind of backing them up with that jab, moving forward, he's moving back. I might throw a little fast one too, ba -ba. He's still not expecting that cross to the body. But then I'm going to throw it hard and fast, followed by the hook to the head from here. And he's not expecting that. And that's how you can set up all these shots with this cross. It doesn't have to be the hook. It could be a cross to the body, then a cross to the head. It could be a cross to the body, right hook. We are more advanced. It could be a cross to the body, lead hook to the body. And that's a great one as well. Great combinations. Click here to learn about all of the body punches in boxing. I'll break it down for you. Click here, learn how to throw punches hard to the body.